Hello YouTube! This is Phantom Roy and welcome to round 2 of Mad Madness. In this tournament it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an NFC matchup today in Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Vikings, it's the Bears, it's Mad Madness, and it's time to get going. So we look on as the Bears get ready to kick it away, and the Bears were able to upset the Packers in the last game in round one, winning 6-3. And in order to win a game with six points, you got to have a really suffocating defense. And that's what the Bears have brought to the table. So if they can suffocate Minnesota again, they might have a chance to win this one. And here comes Case Keenum. Didn't throw any interceptions, but didn't get any touchdowns either. Wait looking off my wrong cue card. He got one touchdown and one pick. So, not the perfect game, but not bad at all. They ended up winning their last matchup 21-3 over the Lions. And the Vikings have a suffocating defense too. They let the Lions drive on a couple, couple of uh, series, but it either ended in a missed field goal or an interception. There was a pick six. Also in that last game as Keenum gets ready for his first throw, which is hot to Treadwell for an eight-yard pickup. And second and short now for the Vikings. This first score is pretty massive because both these defenses are pretty good. Three receivers to Keenum's right as he's in the shotgun. Keenum, screen pass to Murray, and Murray's got some daylight. Out at the 47, it's a gain of 14 off the screen. And just like that, Minnesota's near midfield. So out comes Minnesota for a uh, first and 10 from the 47. And that big pa uh, screen pass, that basically got them a touchdown as well in, that, in their last offensive series, which was against the Lions. So as Keenum gets ready to throw over the middle to Thielen, who has the ball jarred out of his hands by a pretty big hit, we get a look at the Vikings offense. Murray and McKinnon, Diggs and Thielen. Murray got a touchdown, as well as McKinnon, in their last appearance. So second and ten now. Keenum fakes the handoff. He's got time. He throws. His man was wide open, but the throw was just a little bit too far ahead of him. Incomplete. Brings up the first third down of the game. And here comes the Bears defense. Trevathan, ex-Bronco, leading the linebackers. So third and ten now for the Vikings. Keenum audibles, seeing something in the defense. He's got time. Keenum throws under pressure, throws deep down the field, and they're going to say he was out of bounds. Fourth and ten, so Minnesota, after getting the first down or two, is going to have to punt. 
And that's what Chicago is able to do against Green Bay. Tighten down near midfield and force those punts. Quigley. Kick is really high and it's going to say a lot of bounds at the 25 yard line. So not the best kick. They're going to get a net gain of about five. As Mitchell Trubisky comes out now. And Trubisky didn't make any mistakes, but he didn't throw any touchdowns either in that last matchup against Green Bay. So if he can just minimize the turnovers and find a way to get into the end zone, Chicago would be in business. Running formation to start off. Trubisky's going to throw. So they're showing some confidence in him. And he's just going to scramble up the field and slide down right at the yard marker, which is going to say that he's short. Second and inches coming up. And that was alert. Look at that. That was alert. Um, by Trubisky there to uh, realize that the scramble was open and take the free 10 yards. Well, 9.7, whatever you want to say. Under center, in the eye. Trubisky to Howard. He's got a first. And it's only three yards, but it's enough to move the chains. So a lot of teams like to take a shot on second in inches but they just elect to keep the ball out of Keenum's hands and win that time of possession battle also to avoid that third down in which the, they were four for nine last week or in the previous round Trubisky Fakes the handoff, and they'll take a shot on first down deep. Nearly intercepted. That could have been a disaster for the Bears, but instead it brings up second and ten. And here's the Bears offense. Did score any touchdowns, but didn't turn over the ball either. Jordan Howard, Tariq Cohen are the big playmakers in this offense. Howard's one of those sneaky good running backs. And I gotta ask myself this every time I look at the Bears, why don't they run the ball more with Howard? They did not do it very much under John Fox last year, and if they could run it a little bit more next year, as Shaheen gets a five-yard pickup, they could do a lot more. Uh, they could be a lot more aggressive on offense. Here's the Vikings' defense, who got a pick six in their last matchup against the Lions. Anthony Barr, it was Gideon who got that pick six. Trey Waynes, Xavier Rhodes. Pretty formidable defense as we see this third and five. Four for nine last week. First third down attempt of the game here for the Bears. Four receivers. Likely to throw here, and he will. Trubisky. Moves in the pocket and throws it incomplete. So, two drives, two punts in this one so far. Bears ready to punt. It's O'Donnell. And the kick lands. Ooh, perfect bounce. Ball is marked down at the three. And Minnesota has to run a first run their first play from the shadow of their own goal line. Excellent. Excellent punt by O'Donnell. And with these defenses, it might be a defensive score before an offensive score. Let's see what happens.
from your own goal line, your your playbook's pretty limited. You can maybe run it up the gut, run it to the side, but the side's a little bit more risky because you need some extra time to get to the side. We'll see what they do here. Strong right. Murray gets hit in the backfield for a loss of two. So they go backwards when they can't afford to do so. Second and 12 from their own one. And Minnesota's in some trouble now. They'd be lucky to just get out of here without a safety. So, Keenum under center again, strong left this time. Running formation and Murray slips out of the end zone and gets some breathing room, some gain of seven on his second rush, third and five for Minnesota. Second, third down of the game for the Vikings. And I thought he was gonna get a safety right there running into his own guy like that, but he's able to stay on his feet and sort of just bounce off him and move up the field. So third and five now. First down would be great for the Vikings, but just be happy you're not gonna take a safety here. Keenum under center. Throws incomplete. And that defense was suffocating. I'm not sure, there might have been a flag that should have been thrown on that play. Seemed like he was getting mugged, but Without a second look, it's hard to tell. Either way, it's going to be fourth down. And the Bears will get the ball with decent field position as the punt comes from the in their own end zone. Quigley kicks away. And he catches it at the 33. Cohen. Cohen. Excellent return into field goal range. From 133 all the way to the other. 32 yard return. And that's one thing that the Bears have that really works for them is they have one of the best special teams. Um, one of the best special teams in the league. And it's because of that man right there. And it was the kicker that did half the work on that tackle. So the Bears are coming out now, and we'll see if they can get some points on the board. So, Trubisky under center, running formation. Howard, he gets about three, not bad. They're gonna say it was actually a game of two, second and eight, but it's gonna be a short eight. And we'll see what they do here, second and eight. Short run, do you have the confidence to keep that run going? And I think they will try it again. Running formation. All right. Trubisky to Howard, and that was the wrong call. <laughs> He's blown up in the backfield. Third and 11 now. So both defenses are really playing well here in the first. Third and 11, you're in field goal range. I'm not sure how risky you want to play this. Bunch set to Trubisky's left. Showing blitz are the Vikings. They won't blitz. Trubisky rolls to his left, throws on the run. Incomplete. Sails over the receiver's head, and that's fourth down. And that's going to bring us to the end of the first. 0-0. Zero, zero. High ball game, Bears in field goal range. Field goal likely after the commercial break. All 
All right, we're back now. Phantom Roy behind the mic. As we get start started for the beginning of the second quarter. And the offense is out there, but I think they're just trying to fake off the Vikings, and they are. As they attempt this field goal from the 34. Glennon kicks away. And no, it's not. It's blocked. Sendejo. And I think he's going to get there. 10, 5. Touchdown, Vikings. So that's a huge play this early in the game. Excellent block, excellent return. Wow, you don't, see, you don't see that very often. Especially, I, I don't know if I've ever seen it in Madden. So extra point now. Vikings get their kick. Bridgewater holds as the kick is good. 7-0 Vikings. So Chicago thought it was going one way, it was going the other. And so the Vikings defense gets it done. So Chicago has only scored six points in their only game in Madden Madness, and they're going to have to beat that total if they want to sneak out of here with the win. Cunningham takes the knee. Ball's brought out to the 25. And Trubisky's got to come out now. And luckily, the touchdown wasn't his fault. So he should feel still he should still feel pretty confident. And Chicago only has 17 yards of offense, so. They're going to get five more off the penalty here, so it'll be first and five, which they're going to need every single yard they can get. And it's Anthony Barr. Still first down. So on this first and five, you can take a shot here because if you miss, it's... You still get basically a five yard gain. Trubisky under center. Trubisky to Howard, and Howard has the first and a little bit more. So they keep bypassing the shot opportunities in exchange for. Why is Fox? <laughs> what? I don't know how, why Fox and Zimmer are both on the field like that, but uh, anyways, moving on. Vikings showing blitz. Running formation for the offense. Trubisky rolls, throws, out of bounds. Kind of panicked on that one. I mean, honestly, he was still in the pocket, so I'm not sure why that wasn't intentional grounding. Bears have been um, balanced on offense. Trubisky 
Play action. Hits Sims, and Sims had the ball for a second, but it's jarred loose. And Trubisky's only one for six. Let's start off this game. Third and ten. Now for the Bears, who have not converted a third down yet. Trubisky in the shotgun. Oh, and I think he got him. I think they're going to get another free five yards. So that just made this a lot easier. I'd still bet that Chicago's going to pass, though, on this third down. And every single time you're in an obvious passing situation, you got to be very careful. You don't want to turn over the ball against this defensive secondary. Trubisky is going to throw. And ball's knocked down. Second pass deflection for Barr. So Chicago's going to punt once again, failing to get the third down conversion. So, yeah, wow. Barr could have had the pick, too. O'Donnell again. Let's see if he can duplicate what he's able to do last time. And he can't. Hits it a little bit too far. And that brings out the ball to the 20. So up seven points. Keenum's got a Try and figure out a way to make this a two possession game. Under center is Keenum. And Murray with the spin, he's got he's got a lot of yardage right there. 37 yards. That might be Chicago's worst play on defense of Mad Madness so far. Nasty spin move by Murray. So, five and a half minutes left in the first half. As Minnesota gets ready, they're on the edge of field goal range. But they don't want a field goal, they want a touchdown. Keenum to Murray. He's got a one yard pickup or so. It'll be a long yard. So, second and nine coming up. In Minnesota's pass selection's been pretty even so far. Some confusion on the defensive side as McKinnon breaks free. And McKinnon, McKinnon, Jarek McKinnon. Touchdown, Minnesota. His second touchdown of Mad Madness. And that's what's nasty about Minnesota is both of their running backs are very, very good. And they can bust out plays like that. So running's always an issue when they're on the field. 
And Minnesota takes a 14-point lead. Minnesota's extra point is good. And Horbath nails it. So 14 points officially for Minnesota. Three plays, 80 yards. Two of those were runs. Not th all three of those were runs, actually. They took Keenum out of that game plan on that series. Not intentionally, I'm sure, but in effect. So down 14 nothing. Chicago's got to find a way to stop the bleeding here. Kicks away. And waiting is Cunningham who returns it. Past the 20 and brought down at the 25. That was kind of a generous spot, I thought, but... Uh, they do give him the extra yard, so it's the same as taking a knee. And here comes Trubisky, who needs to put together some plays here to answer Minnesota. Bunch set to Trubisky's right. And Mitchell fakes it. Throws. Incomplete. Led him too far, and Trubisky only has five yards of offense here in the first half. He had the man open, but he just overthrew it. So, second and ten as the Bears come out under center. Trubisky to Howard, stretch play. And they get maybe a couple inches as he's blown up at the line of scrimmage. Third and ten upcoming for the Bears. And this is what the Bears, I feel like, have had trouble with all season long is they haven't been able to move the ball on offense. So their third attempt, they have yet to convert on third down. Trubisky rolls, and he runs into his own man for a sack. It's Johnson, and it's a loss of four. That brings up fourth down, and Minnesota's going to have another chance to add on to the lead. So back to punt. O'Donnell kicks away. Caught at the 18 by Sharice, who jukes two defenders, and what the? F <laughs> what? He's taken for a ride there, and it's a positive result for the Vikings who started out the 34. That was bizarre. This game's full of uh, weird things. <laughs> Just about two and a half minutes left in the second quarter. Keenum didn't really have to do anything on that last drive. Let's see if he has to do something on this one. As he's under center, it seems like they will run it again. To Murray. And Murray's got a big hole. Game of 10. First down. Vikings. And he's already at 50 yards in this one. I think they're pretty close to 100 on the ground as well in total.
and they let the clock run down to the two minute warning so two minutes left Minnesota leads and they have the ball trying to go up 21-0 All right, we're back. Vikings lead 14-0, and they have the ball at the 44. And Chicago's got to find a way to get a stop for their offense, and then their offense has to find a way to get down the field. Four receivers as Keenum's in the show. Keenum. Throws. Hits Treadwell, and there's a flag down as he's got a good gain. Let's see what this flag's about. I think it's going to be a face mask call. So that's an additional 15 yards, and they're on the edge of the red zone after that. And Keenum hasn't had to do much either on this drive. Last drive was... Um, Filled by runs, and this one is one throw and one uh, face mask call with a decent return as well on the kick return. So Keenum hasn't had to do very much in this one. Four receivers for Case. Bears showing blitz, and they will blitz. Throws under pressure, and Treadwell almost had an amazing grab, but falls incomplete after the hit. And that might just be what Chicago needs to stop the bleeding here. Of course, best case scenario, they give up a field goal, but way better than giving up that long catch for a, and then giving up a touchdown on the next couple plays. So second and ten now. Chicago's best chance to stop him on this drive. Keenum. Treadwell is going to Treadwell on back-to-back -back plays and connects on that one, his third reception of the game. Third and two coming up. And if I'm the Vikings, I'm going to let it run down as much as I can before running this play. Let's see what they do here. Four receivers. Keenum might throw here. He is. Keenum. Rolls. Incomplete. So Keenum's had a kind of a rough going. Four of ten in the first half. And Minnesota had a chance at getting that touchdown, but instead they'll just settle for the field goal. And the way that drive was going, Minnesota has got to be pretty disappointed. But four bath, four three, to make it 17. And it's a 17 point game, and so far, this game has felt much like the previous game, the Bucks and the Panthers. It w the Bucks were up 17-0 at the half, and they ended up winning 24 to nothing. So. Chicago's got to find a way to break out the break out of the mold, as they say. And they will have a chance to do so before the half, as Forbath gets ready to kick it away. Kicks away. Cunningham catches it deep and takes the knee for the free 25 as Chicago comes out onto the field. And the Bears have struggled on third down. Haven't been able to convert a single time in this one. So their goal might be to avoid third down altogether. We'll see what they come up with here. Three receivers. Trubisky audibles. He's in the shotgun. High snap. Hands to Howard up the gut, who gets a gain of about seven. And they're going to hurry back to the line. 
Just about a minute left in the first half. Trubisky fakes the handoff. And he's blown up, taken down for a sack. It's a loss of seven, and Chicago is forced to take a timeout. And it's going to be a third and ten. All right, Mike Zimmer looking on, looking pretty pleased. He should be. These guys are up 17-0. Three receivers. Trubisky rolls to his right. He's being pursued. Cuts up field, and he almost gets away, but not before being taken down after a gain of three or so. And Minnesota takes a timeout. Already up 17. They're going to try and add to it. Back to punt. It's O'Donnell. And then it's a kick down to the 12 where Sherry gets it and runs it out to the 18. So about a six yard return on that play. And 43 seconds left. Keenum comes out. And they're going to try and get something here. Pretty aggressive call, up 17 already, but when everything's working, you gotta roll with the punches, you know? Three receivers as Keenum, four receivers as Keenum is in the shotgun. It's a draw to Murray, who fumbles! It, but it's recovered by his own guy as Minnesota takes a timeout. Gain a three on the previous play. We'll see what they do here. So 39 seconds left. Minnesota has one timeout. So with 40 seconds, he can basically throw anywhere on the field and run up and spike it. See what they do here. Four receivers they will likely throw. Keenum. Steps up, and he's gone. Keenum slides down. Gain of 16 on the run. And chains are moving, but the clock is too. They better hurry up. Minnesota's forced to take a timeout. And that's not very good for the Vikings. That hurts their chances a lot of scoring here. So 21 seconds left in the first half. There won't be a halftime. We'll be skipping past that, but Vikings here. We'll see what they do here. In the shotgun is Keenum, and he's going to throw over 
towards the sideline incomplete. Let him a bit too far, and Thielen was pretty well covered as well, so it might be better that it fell incomplete. Fuller gets ready for the next snap, which will feature Keenum under center, and they might just be giving up here. They hand it to Murray, and it seems that they will be content to go to halftime, up 17. So, halftime. Vikings lead 17-0, pitching a shutout so far. We'll see what they can do here in the second half. All right, start of the third. This is Phantom Roy. And Minnesota is going to kick off here. So Chicago should feel pretty lucky to have this opportunity. They can make it a two possession game here before Minnesota gets the ball back. We'll see if they're able to figure something out at halftime. Cunningham runs it out of the end zone. And he's able to chug his way forward for a net gain of about three to the 28. So Trubisky's coming out now, 17 down, and they got to find a way to move this ball. Bears have been unable to convert on third down. They keep getting into those third and longs, and against this ball, ball hawking secondary, it's a really big challenge. They need to get into more, some more third and short, where it's not such an obvious passing situation. Balanced formation, three receivers. Trubisky hands it to Howard on first down, and Howard has a first down. Pretty good run to start in the second half. And he just had a pretty big hole. Slips the tackle there. But if they can do that every play, they'd be sitting pretty. So just like that, they're almost at the 40. And we'll see what they do here for their second play. Four receivers. Trubisky likely to throw here. Takes the handoff. Rolls to his right, throws. Nearly intercepted. There wasn't even anybody in the area. I think he was just trying to throw it away or there was a miscommunication or something. Because that should have been intercepted. Second and ten now. We'll see if they can figure out a way to get out of this second and long. Hands to Howard. And gain of six. So third and three upcoming. And Chicago is going to have arguably their best chance of the night. This will be their fifth attempt. Haven't converted yet. Four receivers. High snap. Hands to Howard. And Howard's not able to get there. So third and three. They got a punt after gaining only one to make it a fourth and two. Maybe if that snap wasn't so high. Howard would have a better chance, but this defense, that's what this defense can do. They can really make you struggle. They can make every single yard feel like an accomplishment. 
O'Donnell back to punt. Kicks away. And it's going to be a pretty rough kick. I don't know why he's super excited about that because it's a about eight yards worse than a touchback if you're the Bears. So under five to play in the third as Minnesota comes out at their own 28. Keenum's going to come out in the eye and up three possessions. They might be taking their foot off the gas a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe it's just their running games are working so well with Murray who gets this 13-yard pickup. Why change? Huge hole. Nobody in it. Zip code, man. Three receivers. Keenum to Murray on the misdirection. He gets a couple yards out to the 43. We'll have a second and kind of long. Keenum under center, showing run on a second and eight. Fakes the handoff. Keenum's going to throw. All time. Oh. It was intercepted, but he couldn't get his feet in bounds. So it's going to bring up third and eight. Wow. That could have changed momentum. We'll see how risky they are here on third down. Fun fact, Vikings are up 17, but they also haven't converted on third down. Takes the handoff, Keenum again. And he's got Thielen. And that's their first third down conversion of the game. So that makes them 25% on third down. And that seems like the icing on the cake. They were already playing a pretty solid game, but that was the biggest issue was their third down conversion rate was kind of suspect. But with that conversion, sets those rumors to bed, those thoughts. Under center is Keenum, Carter in motion, showing run. Bears expecting it. Murray, loss of one on the play. Second and 11 coming up. And Keenum's going to be alone in the shotgun. He's got 11 yards to go. Hits Rudolph on the dump off. And that's his first catch, and it's good for a first. So when they hit, have the blitz coming, throw it to your open man, and he can run it, get you those yards with his legs. So Minnesota, another first down, and they're really driving so far in this one. They're in pretty 
comfortable field position in terms of field goals as he's under center. Hands to Murray. And Murray gets only one. So the run's kind of slowed down, but Keenum's made up the difference. And we're kind of in the same situation as we were in the previous game, where if Chicago gives up a touchdown here, it's going to start to look really bleak. Murray. Gain of about five. Set number third and three. And let's see if they can convert two in a can if they can convert two in a row. But it, they don't have to snap this if they don't want to. We'll see what they do. Three seconds. Two. They will snap it. Keenum. They're gonna throw it as well, and Treadwell gets the floater. That's enough for our first down. So that'll do it for the third. Chicago losing big. Down 17. Vikings in striking distance. All right, welcome to the start of the fourth. Minnesota's got about 12 yards to go. Chicago is really gasping for air on this one. They need to hold them to at least a field goal if they want any chance of winning this one. Keenum to Murray. And Murray's only going to get a couple here. They're going to say one. So second and nine. And Chicago has been able to stop him on first down, but they haven't been able to stop him repeatedly three times in a row. And Minnesota's play selection has been pretty even. Running formation for the offense. It's a hand to McKinnon, who has a gain of five. And third and four upcoming. And that's what the Vikings have been able to do on this drive that they haven't been able to do er earlier in the game is get these third and shorts. Three receivers for Keenum. He's got time. Thrown right before... Oh, <laughs> Turns around and runs the other way. But Chicago gets the stop they need, and Minnesota's going to have to settle for a field goal. So this one's not completely over yet. Yeah, he ran the other way. <laughs> I don't know how that happens, but... uh. Four bath, trying to make it a 20 point game. Kicks away, and 20 nothing. Minnesota. So just under five minutes, Minnesota's crowd has to feel pretty good about themselves. They're probably just about one stop away from starting to celebrate. And it's caught by Cunningham, who's going to take the knee and the free 25. Here comes Trubisky trying to avoid the shutout at the least. And if they can somehow get a touchdown, stop them without using timeouts, and get another touchdown and stop them with timeouts, they could 
have a chance to take the lead here at the end of the game. Of course, with under five to play, it's re <laughs> that's really tough. That's like Patriots. That's like worse than Patriots. And they had full quarters. Let's see what Chicago can do here. Low snap. And dumped to Howard, who tackled, who's tackled for a loss. And Minnesota's <laughs> just cruising right now. Punch set of receivers to Trubisky's left as he's in the shotgun. Trubisky. Incomplete. He's had one completion in this game for five yards. Here comes a third and long. Third and 11. This will be their sixth attempt of the game. They have not converted yet. Trubisky under center, running formation. Trubisky's going to throw. Roll to his right, throws, hits Bellamy, who's got the first down. Trubisky's second completion of the game, and the first, first down. And his man was wide open. I doubt they'll be that easy going forward. Let's see if Trubisky can finally start to find some rhythm here. Four receivers. Trubisky alone in the backfield. Trubisky throws, hits right over the middle, and he's got a gain of about five. Gain of six, they'll call it. So second and four coming up. And Trubisky's completed more passes on this drive already than he has the entire game. <laughs> and I know it doesn't look it, but I have boosted the QB stats to 80 for all sub 80 QBs and Chicago is going to get a free first down with the cadence by Trubisky so one mistake leads to another as Chicago is at midfield Four receivers for Trubisky in the shotgun. Trubisky, he had his man open, but his receiver was not paying attention. Hit him right in the hands, too. So that was not Trubisky's fault at all. Under two minutes and 40 to play. Trubisky in the shotgun, low snap, draw to Howard, who's tackled for a couple of, a couple yard gain, but there's a flag down. Let's see what this is about. So with that penalty, Chicago is just about the deepest it's been since that turnover, that scoop and score off the blocked field goal attempt. So, two minutes and 36 seconds left as Chicago is in field goal range, but they can't afford to settle for a field goal. They need points. They need, they need big points. They need a touchdown. Four receivers. Trubisky going to throw here probably. 
Trubisky. Hits Howard on the dump off who fumbles the ball and it's picked up by Smith who can't stay on his feet. So critical error there by Howard and that should just about do it. Keenum comes on now, and the Vikings sh should be just trying to bleed the clock out. Starting from their own 35. Chicago is already in big trouble on that last series, but now it's pretty much impossible unless they get multiple onside kicks. Keenum getting ready to run it here, most likely, as he's under center. Hands to Murray. He's got a three-yard pickup. And the clock will run. That play should take us to the two-minute warning. And it will. So Minnesota leads 20 to nothing, trying to just end this one. We'll see him out after this. Keenum in the eye. Keenum to Murray. Murray's got about three. And third and four upcoming. And if Vikings can get this first down, they should just be able to run the clock out unless Chicago wants to take timeouts, but it doesn't seem like they are. So if Minnesota can get this first down, they'll complete the shutout. McKinnon's got it. McKinnon. So that third down conversion makes them three for seven on the day on third down, which isn't half bad after starting out pretty rough. 0 for five, I believe. No. 0 for 4. So that it should just be meals from here on out. Oh, they'll be sportsmen. They'll try and give them a chance to take the ball away and escape this shutout. And that'll do it. Bears lose. So after upsetting Green Bay, the Bears are out. Shut out by the Vikings. Losing 20 to 0. <laughs> Pretty rough loss for Trubisky and the Bears. So let's take a look now at the bracket. So Vikings move on, and they'll take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who just out. Oh, they won 24 to zero. So that is shaping up to be a pretty good one. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. I know it was kind of a boring one, but you gotta have the boring ones to make the exciting ones more exciting, right? So let me know. Was your prediction right? My prediction is that your prediction was right. Let us know in the comments. Either way. And if you want to see the Vikings continue on in their next game, subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And until next time, this is Phantom Roy saying, have a good one.